So what is up guys, this is Draken here, welcome back to another video here on Ark Survival Evolved Mobile. So, in the previous episode we tamed up with the Thuso, that's right here, uh, sitting in front of my face, this massive big old beast. Actually I'm just always like dumbfounded by how massive this guy is, just, yeah, just uh, take a good look. I'm just about the size of this guy's eye, isn't that insane? Well, the Tuesday is the biggest creature in Ark, probably. Uh, I think can easily scale up to Alpha Mosasaur even. So I found this guy while searching for Alpha Mosasaur actually. And just look at all the stuff collected. So these are the stats. 42k health and melee damage 800%. Now, even low level Tuesdays are massive damage dealers. So. These guys have several attacks, okay, so we are just going to check them out right now. So, at about here, let's uh, just posture myself so that you guys can see very properly. Just see the way it moves, It's uh, it may not seem to be very fast, but in fact this Deuce is really very fast. Like, it's the way its tentacles move slowly, makes it seem like it's slow, and that's the first attack, uh, doing like that. After attacking like that, you can turn around on the spot uh, and look at whatever thing you are wanting to face. And then that's the... Uh, let me just position myself correctly. After we do the normal attack, you can just turn around and uh, see, just like that. You can just keep on turning around in whichever direction you want to turn. And afterwards, this guy also has a grab attack. So, uh, well... The Tusos are able to just deal with almost every creature and here's the grab. Okay, so that's now the creature is grabbed now as you can see. Uh, let's just go into this view. Uh, go using the photo mode, let's take a good look at this guy. Alright, so there it is caught in the tentacles. Yeah, just kind of feel sorry for this guy. Just look at that big weight into tear up into pieces. So holding in onto this guy and attacking, um, well, as you can see the tentacles are like moving around, that is also you can attack the, any creature while you're holding onto it. Uh, the thing is it deals like almost like half the normal damage that this guy deals, so actually this guy's attack is low, considerably low compared to most creatures, but the tricky part that is there is that each and every one of these guys tentacles hit. And now that's the other attack that just lags the crap out of my device. Yeah, just using like that was the right multi tap, and that releases a cloud of ink that gives off a massive speed buff. And I'm not certain about this. Maybe it's a PC thing, but I've heard that the speed that firing off all that ink thingy it actually aggroes other creatures towards. Uh, a creature you spray it like if a mosasaur is fighting you then if you just do that all the other creatures in the area will start attacking the mosasaur so i'm not sure about that that's the theory that we are going to check out today all right so that's the mosasaur level 270 we'll be dealing with that guy and you'll be quite amazed to see how fast the health drops right 25k health and 23 and it becomes uh, there we go so let's see does it oh my god it just it just lags so much nope that was just a rumor the ink doesn't make any creature grow onto the mosses so how sad well we can just melt down this mosses of health by ourselves without any problem just look at that 20,000 and it just keeps on dropping so the Tusos have a really fast attack and they keep they deal a massive damage compared to most other creatures in the ocean probably the strongest creature I would say even stronger than uh, uh, Alpha Mosa so yes so I am going to level this guy up after this video as well and um, yeah I'm going to get this guy to 100k health now just remember that ocean is one of the best places you can go to gain XP. Specifically the Electro Forests give large amounts of XP. And another thing that I wanted to tell you guys is that the 
grab the rack of this guy using the tentacles when you grab it when you grab any creature a creature that's grabbable actually like a nidaria or maybe ammonites manta and all those things the creature the only creatures that can't be grabbed is the mosasaur the basilosaurus and other tusos i believe so even a plesiosaur can be grabbed now the need area can't shock you out of your mount out of the tusa when you're riding in uh, the jellyfish can't knock you out now as i was saying uh, when you grab onto a creature by grappling it you may realize that if you are just holding on that attack button where it's just using the tentacles to like slowly wear the creature down to low health now that attack uh, actually heals your guy up like specifically if you just hold on to a creature with a large amount of health and you can keep doing it for a longer period of time it also works if you like use several small creatures for the grab attack if you do like that uh, you can like continuously gain health yeah that actually just increases your health by a large amount like uh, holding on for a little bit of time will just after a certain period of time you'll heal up, up about a thousand health like that and now I'm just hunting ammonites every time I see them because they give black pearls. You should not keep black pearls on this guy's inventory because if this guy becomes hungry, yeah, it's eating the black pearls. And also mantas are, are a little bit troublesome to attack. Okay, so... Now the other fact is that... Oh, there we go. The uh, Nidaria can't actually shock me out of my mount. That's something really handy with these guys. And also, the Mosasaur and the Tuso also doesn't aggro the jellyfish like on their own you have to like kill the ammonite or just dismount in order to aggro these guys well the other thing is that you can deal top with them over time now uh, last i checked the dot or decks i was confused because i have not tamed the tuso by that time yes the thing is it says that a uh, tuso uh no, from the knockout series the, uh, there is like a, a set of things like Showing the compound bow and everything, how many trank arrows you need, like that. And it says Tuso, and in brackets it says in seconds. So it actually says the number of seconds you have to hold on to creature by using the grab uh, in order for it to knock out. Now the lag is completely reduced when you just go to the second person view, no first person view on this. But if you turn around, again lagging, yeah. <laughs> so uh, the thing is you have to hold on to a creature for a certain period of time for it to start gaining top Yeah, it gains by a large amount. You can easily knock out most creatures uh, The only thing is uh, it will require a large amount of What are you kidding me another Tuzo and <laughs> Another Mosasaur Wow riding around on a Tuzo is quite good then uh, It actually just makes Larger creatures spawn in it appears. Okay, I'm not just losing this opportunity now as they were all small creatures. Uh, not small, low level creatures. I'm going to kill them all easily then. Okay, so now the Tuso is after me continuously because the Tusos have no depth limit. So now when a Tuso is being attacked when his health is low, it will release that. Uh, ink cloud and escape so that ink cloud makes it difficult to see and again it lags as well uh, so like that and getting rid of all the megalodons and then i can go and kill the tuso now uh, after the most recent update the tusos don't always give you 50 black pearls it's like a chance now earlier i got 32 black pearls from a tuso and then i didn't get any from another tuso like that it's now like a random chance so get wrecked and let's see what you have to offer us okay mm. waiting for it to clear out and there's the bag let's just go in there now tusos also give you a large amount of xp which is also something you have to look out for where's the bag oh there it is so let's just see Oh, just toil. Well, fine, I'll just take whatever it is. I'm desperately searching for Alpha Moses, so I have no idea why they do not spawn at all. So, guys, anyways, uh, that is mostly about the Tusos. There are 
ranked as the best collectors of biotoxins from the jellyfish. Now the jellyfish can't shock you out. The electrophoruses are excellent for experience and uh, the only creatures that the Tuso can't grab are the Bacillosauruses, the Mosasaurus and other Tuso's apparently. So guys that'll be it about them uh, and also if you're short on oil go kill a Bacillosaurus as cruel as it sounds they are excellent for oil. So these guys are really powerful and uh, excellent damage dealers and everything so well rounded tanks they may seem to be slow but they are actually much more faster than you can even imagine. So guys that will be it about the Tuso. I believe I covered everything up. Good luck in taming your own Tuso's then this is Draken here. Over and out. So if you find this video to be helpful, ring that notification bell and smash that thumbs up and subscribe as well and never miss a video. So bye guys, until next time.